Last monsoon, I was trudging home on a somewhat flooded street when I saw a child standing on the sidewalk with tears brimming in his eyes and a heartbroken expression that could have melted an iceberg. I was about to ask him if he was stranded or if he needed help contacting his parents when I saw, wedged between an umbrella, a school book and a pencil box, an ice cream cone, tilting downwards. The flood had washed away any evidence of a fallen dollop of ice cream, but it was clear from the tilted cone and the fact that the ice cream itself seemed to have broken free of its cone, that the boy's ice cream had fallen into the rainwater. The rising wedge pattern reminds me of that tilted ice cream cone and that fallen ice cream. A downward tilting cone or wedge appearing as a set of trend lines on a stock graph acts as grounds for traders to predict that the stock price is going to fall. Of course, a second clue is also required here too. Like the ice cream that has slipped out of its cone when the stock price breaks out by slipping below its recent lows, traders regard it as supporting evidence in favour of predicting a stock price decline. So, how does this cone slash wedge shape become evident on a stock price graph? Very simply, a series of stock price highs and lows line up to form a set of converging trend lines. These trend lines ascend as they converge broader to the left side of the graph and narrower to the right side of the stock price graph. To be clear, this means that the lines were further away from each other in the past and are now closer together at present. Traders predict that the stock price, which has been on the rise, will see a trend reversal when the stock price breaks away below the lower trend line. They see this as a sign that the market is fighting back against the price increase. But wait, not so fast. There are a handful of accompanying signs that should be observed before jumping to the conclusion that the stock price increase is about to be reversed. Firstly, stock prices for the last 10 days and up to 50 days must line up to form a tilted cone or wedge. Secondly, the upper and lower trend lines must move towards a convergence. That is, they get narrower towards the right side of the graph. Thirdly, the slope of the convergence is tilted upwards because the stock high price is on an upward trend. The fourth accompanying sign is volume. A technical tool that traders use to evaluate market interest shows a decline. And the fifth sign is the stock price breaks below the lower trend line. That is, the stock price deviates downward suddenly, a further drop from the trajectory observed recently. Rising wedge patterns are also referred to as ascending wedges. They are considered to be a sign of impending bearish trend. For this very reason, the rising wedge pattern is not to be confused with its similarly named twin, the falling wedge pattern. In the case of a falling wedge pattern, the cone slash wedge is pointing upwards but also narrowing towards the right side of the stock price graph. The falling wedge pattern, in contrast to the rising wedge pattern, is a bullish pattern it heralds a stock price increase. A few minutes ago, I mentioned that traders expect a reversal in the stock price when they see a rising wedge and its accompanying breakout below the lower trend line. However, a rising wedge pattern can also be a continuation pattern. Now, before you let that statement boggle your mind with how contradictory it sounds, let me add that 1. It all depends on where the rising wedge pattern appears. That is, after a downtrend or after an uptrend. And two, in reversal pattern avatar or continuation pattern avatar, traders regard the rising wedge pattern to be a bearish pattern. So, to sum up, if a rising wedge pattern with its accompanying breakout below the lower trend line appears after a downtrend, it is seen as a continuation pattern. Traders expect prices to continue to decline. Conversely, if a rising wedge pattern with its accompanying breakout below the lower trend line appears after an uptrend, it is seen as a reversal pattern. Traders expect prices to start falling. In both the avatars, the rising wedge pattern predicts a price decline. In both avatars, it is referring to the continuation or discontinuation of the trend before its appearance. The rising wedge pattern, along with its twin, the falling wedge pattern, are considered to have a very good strike rate in panning out as accurate indicators. Traders say that predictions made of the wedge patterns more often than not have proven correct. That said, there are the usual rules of caution that I must call to mind when praising the prediction worthiness of the rising wedge pattern. 1. 
no indicator alone can be considered as a basis enough to make an informed prediction moreover rising wedges are fairly hard to spot without doubt according to traders and two even if all the indicators and even the overall sentiment towards the stock points to a certain price decrease it is important to note that the actual stock price movement could still oppose the prediction so do your research do your technical analysis do your fundamental analysis and only after you've made up your mind approach this with caution listen to our podcasts to arm yourself with risk management precautions and knowledge so you can become a better trader angelbroking.com helping you along the way i will see you again till then you have angelbroking.com to browse go ahead don't let the learning stop have fun learning happy investing